What are you doing? I don't know. What are you? I don't oh! Know. Do you see the size of that to my head? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first ever vlog, so please bear with me as I make the beginner mistakes. So today I'm off to London, and I just thought it'd be really cool to take you guys with. Right now I'm on my way to the airport. <laughs> apartment it's so cold I think it's like 50 degrees and some people might say okay I run it out that's not really that cold but I get cold very easily very quickly I am freezing right now what do you oh my gosh what are you doing? Okay. You go in. I just need to follow that. I will get into that in a minute. Long story short, we're finally in the hotel room. It is about 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. We have been on the road from 10 a.m. Driving non-stop. Anyway, like I said, I'll get into that in a minute. But for right now, I'm gonna show you guys the hotel room. When you walk in, this is, we got the junior suite. So this is the little office desk, mirror, hi, couch. It's not a spectacular view, but there you go. And the window is dirty, but whatever. The architecture in oh. London is Amazing, oh my goodness. So, oh, it's the TV. I don't know where this door leads to. I'm guessing another room. And then we go into the bedroom. We have a full body length mirror. This cute little seat. Oh my god, it's so cute. I just like want to take it home with me. A humongous bed. This cute little light. Oh, we have a coffee maker and a bar. The housekeeper apparently refills every morning. We have some Chardonnay. It's about two bottles of that. There were two bottles of water in here, but my boyfriend drank one already. And then that's a bear. Bar. Bar. Moretti. And a few sodas. <laughs> so yeah, that's free. And it's refilled every day. Every morning. That is the TV. And my favorite part of every place is the bathroom. Nothing spectacular, but I just I just love bathrooms. I just love really nice, clean bathrooms. I love this thing though. The shape of this is is toilet is kind of weirdly shaped but still nice and the shower let me tell y'all about this long ass day so we had booked a place booked but not paid for a place an apartment um, because it was supposed to be more of us 
but it just ended up being just just the two of us anyway um my boyfriend was very suspicious about the whole apartment to do um <clears throat> because you know anybody could just post their apartment somewhere and say oh, this is a vacation rental charge you x amount of dollars and it's not what they say it is so he wanted he needed to see the apartment before you know committing any money to it so a long story short we we got here without a secured place we went to the address and it turned out to be an office space no apartment so so little red flags were popping up like between us being in the Bahamas and arriving in London because um, he was messaging the owner of the apartment back and forth when we were still in the Bahamas <clears throat> and and she kept saying send payment so we finally got here he, he said he wasn't sending a payment until he saw the place so we finally got here um, he messaged her saying that we were here ready to see the place and she was like okay send payment immediately so got to the place office space no apartment scam so when y'all if y'all are ever going to look for apartments online like do the most research you can do like and i'm telling you this lady's apartment looked legit like she was listed on tripadvisor um this other apartment app a a BOGO or something like that and um, bookings.com and <clears throat> she even had reviews like good reviews under her under her apartment listing so like I really thought it was legit but turns out it wasn't so because of that we didn't have a place to stay we were driving up and down looking for a place to stay everywhere was everywhere is booked like book solid if there are places with um with a room available it's only for like one night and every other night is booked and we're here till saturday so yeah that was a lot but we finally found a place thank jesus I see they have a fitness center, so I think I'm gonna work out for a little bit and then bathe, change, and go explore. I am exhausted, but you know, I'll rest when I die. I did not come all the way to London to sleep. Makes no sense. Look at all the elements. <gasps> oh my gosh. I decided to try some authentic English food since, you know, I'm in London, something different. Um, so we got the fish and chips and, uh, what is this? Battered sausage and chips. This is the sausage, that's the fish. 
and then he is already drenched in lime and salt and oil. We'll see how it tastes. That food really did not hit the spot. So, so we're going to look for something else to eat. So Jason really wanted me to see the McDonald's in London. So high tech. Their menu is has like so much more than we have in the Bahamas. Like it goes on forever. We stopped and got some real Middle Eastern food. So we got some. What kind of rice is that? This was. I can't hear you. Anyway, I think it's um curry lamb and some type of rice with some type of meat in it. So if you can't tell by now, we really love food. Oh, and we also got this. Giant donut. Like this is like real donut. This ain't like Dunkin' Donuts donut. Like, do you see the size of that to my head? It's like wow. So yeah. So that was our that was our day, our evening. So we're just gonna take a few more bites of this food and head to bed. Bye.